overpriced disappointment. The age-old question asks, does Salty Crafter like to deco? So obviously the answer is no. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. She she really absolutely loves it. So naturally, so do I. For those of you who don't know what deco is, it just simply means decorating. And it's become quite the norm to use cute little cabochons, as you're seeing right now, and puffy paint or silicon to make it even cuter. And so when I found out that Scholastic Klutz has its own decorate this journal, I was a little too excited. It's been quite some time since we've attacked, I mean reviewed Scholastic, so we're back. Hello there, my little friend. Let's get to know each other. This kit was not cheap. It cost me about $26 Canadian. Just to be clear, if you really want to spend $26 Canadian to do deco, I'll give you alternatives at the end of this video. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's first see this activity and give it a fair salty chance. So it does boast five charms, 31 squishy stickers, and 15 rhinestones. So let's open this up because the journal that we're supposed to decorate is right on the inside. Here's what we get inside, a decorate this journal activity book in which the first 10 pages are actually instructions on how to use the cream. And then we get about 50 pages of cute little activities. Let's do a couple of these at the end. 31 puffy stickers. But if we look a little closer, they're not really puffy per se. They're just a little less flat. Where's my fluff? So we get these designs here. Although if you really want to count them when it comes to the bigger stickers, we're getting fewer than 31. So somewhere around 17. Because you see, they're counting this little one as a full sticker. So here are the ones that we get. Some rhinestones and some pretty sad cabochons, or as they call them, charms. This is probably one of the saddest resin pieces I've seen because the mold wasn't even shiny. Popsicle, chocolate, ribbon, and this isn't even plastic, it's actually an eraser. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> well, I say I, I stand corrected, not an eraser. <laughs> So in essence, we're getting 17 full-size stickers. And just to be clear, I paid $1 for the same exact kind of squishy texture. As they mentioned over here, there's about 50 stickers and I paid, I kid you not, $1. Scamage! And last but not least, the puffy paste, which is the important deco piece. We were supposed to get a tip. I hear it in there. You ready for a magic trick? Not inside. And here it is, in a hidden compartment. <laughs> Why would you hide it? Even if we had opened the bottom, it's closed. The only way to have gotten this out would have been with your crafting weapon of choice. Don't worry, little buddy, I got you out. All right, so after reading the instructions, I feel pretty comfortable. I have done deco in the past before and my piping techniques are not bad if I say so myself. So we're gonna get this tip on here and we have to work quickly enough so that the cream doesn't actually get hard and then we can't put our decorations on top and then some people be like, Jackie, you did it wrong. I don't know why this is a topic every week. Why do we have to talk Talk about me doing things wrong. Maybe you're watching me wrong. Did you ever think about that? Hmm? I know some of you are trolling me with these lowercase and caps. Jackie, you did it wrong. Lol, JK, I know you guys are trolls. I love your sense of humor. You really do make me laugh. You guys are trolls. We, we get each other. Those of you who are not trolling me and you mean it, you try it. How about you buy the kit and you try it? Hmm? How about that? How about that? How about that? Did you think about that? How about that? No, you didn't. You didn't think I would come with you with that. How about that? All right, enough delays. Let's get to decorating our pink color. I really hated the color pink as a kid because when I was a little girl, people were like, oh, you must love pink. So because I felt like I had to love pink, I hated it. So not a fan of this color as a kid. By the way, since I'm not a huge fan of just generic things, I will most likely add my own cabochons. All right, let's see the first impression of this deco cream. I'm going to start on top because I'm going to go with the piping method. That is this one over here. So it's very similar to the ones that I used to do when I was decorating phone cases. So if you're interested in old school nerdy crafter tutorials, I'll leave a link for those down below. The surface is really smooth, so my biggest worry right now is whether or not it will stick. I have a feeling it won't. How else would we know if we don't try? So first impression, it does come out really smooth, very puffy. So just so that I don't ruin my chances, I'm gonna go ahead, decorate the whole thing, and then my worry is we probably will not have enough. Happened. It's like a torpedo went through thanks to the air bubbles. I'm just gonna clean this up because I was doing really well up until this point. We were doing so well. Am 
I surprised? I'm not surprised. I'm disappointed. Scholastic, why must you break my heart? So it seems like the 85 grams that they've given us, I could try and squeeze a little more, but it really will give us maybe one or two little pumps. It will not fill the whole thing, and it will also not allow us to actually stick the other pieces so that they're a little more 3D-ish. Again, look at the foam cases that I've done, and you'll see that I like to prop pieces up. It's definitely not enough. I'm going to go into my stash and take some of my cream that I bought from Sophie and & Toffee and try to finish this project up. By the way, it just smells like glue, whereas the ones from Sophie & Toffee smell really really nice all right I'm ready I put the nozzle on with some tape and I'm just gonna go in and continue I guess that's a good thing because now we can compare both creams once they're dried up Just to be clear, I used all of their charms. And we have all of this dead space. So we have to use all of these stickers in order to fill up this space. I'm, I'm really annoyed because I really want to decorate this nicely, but I have to supplement. I mean, I paid $26 for this. <clears throat> I'm joking on salt. And I have to actually supplement with my own materials to make this work. <clears throat> I'm just gonna decorate it because I want to decorate it nicely. It's almost like companies aren't even trying anymore. It took me about 15 minutes, so now we have to wait 24 hours before we can handle it. Jackie from the future will see you next. 24 hours later. So here we are. It is pretty hardened and it's also pretty squishy. Same as the Sophie and Toffee one, except the Sophie and Toffee one, I didn't mix it as well as I mixed the other one, so it was liquidy because it separated. I think this design looks really cute, so I, I really had to add my own flair. Let's do an activity from this book, just for fun. So we're going to do the rainbow quiz to find out what personality we have. So make sure you keep your points and your tabs after answering each question to find out which color we are. All right, if I could be an animal, I would be either dolphin, cuddly kitten, or epic pegasus. How is that even an, an option? Keep your score. If I had a unicorn, my unicorn would have lavender fur and sparkly mane, silver fur and hot pink mane, purple fur and blue mane. I think I would go with the basic one. It doesn't need to be extra to be awesome. This is the perfect gift for a friend on their birthday. A batch of cake pops, a beautiful bracelet, a scrapbook of photos. I like personal gifts, so I probably would go with a scrapbook. When I become a star, my stage name will be Charmanda, Gem and the Cheery Charms, Ellie laser. Wow, they're, they're, they're all terrible. I guess Charmander. Close enough to Charmander. My favorite snack is leftover pizza, buttery popcorn, cinnamon sugar toast. You have cinnamon sugar toast? I've never seen cinnamon sugar toast. I'm just gonna go with pizza. Number six. I hope you guys are writing your points, by the way. I'd love to own ice skates with talent built in. Ooh. A winged backpack so I could fly. Oh, double ooh. A mini line I could keep in my... No, no, I, I want this one. I want to fly. If I had a pair of goldfish, I would call them Polka Dot and Dolly, Selena and Katniss, Sponge and yep, Sponge and Bob. Let's, let's just go with Sponge and Bob. The tastiest breakfast is banana smoothie, cheesy scrambled eggs, waffles with berries. Interesting fact about me: I can't stand sweet breakfasts. I, I don't know why. I prefer a savory breakfast. Number nine. My favorite hashtag is Drama Love Happy. I would be a hypocrite if I didn't take drama, would I? It's not my favorite, but. It's just part of the salt life, you can't, can't get away with it. Number 10, I could wear these shoes every day forever. Ballet flats, no. Flip flops, mm. fuzzy slippers, that's my jam. 11, I'd love to ride in style in A, classic limousine, eh, horse-drawn carriage, eh, convertible sports car, eh. Okay, I, I don't like the fancy options, I would go with that. 
My dream vacation would be cross-country road trip. Nope, don't like being in cars. Sunny beach resort, not a fan of water. Snowy cabin retreat. Yeah, I'll take that. All right, let's tally our point and let's let's check what color we are. So I got 23 points. Make sure that you had paused the video while you're doing your tally so that we can see what colors we are. So if you have between 12 and 16 points, you're sweet and love your friends with all your heart. 17 to 21, warm and everyone wants to be your friend. 22 to 26, which is me. You're original and know how to stand out from the crowd. Uh, I kind of like to blend in. 27 to 31, you're kind hearted and have a generous spirit. 32 to 36, you're loyal and faithful through good and bad times. That was cute. It was really, really cute. I, I would definitely have enjoyed this as eight-year-old little Jackie. With that said, we have some serious things to discuss, so let's go over there and have the talk. Time to find out. Is this kit mm, worth it? If you're new to Salty Crafter, we like to start with the cons here because that is what feeds our soul. If your soul is made out of sweets, you're gonna have to convert. That's the only way to become a member here is conversion. We're, we're like a sect, I guess. <laughs> the first con, it is $26 Canadian. It was pretty pricey for a kit, especially considering what we got inside and it wasn't even enough for the activity itself. Let's just take the same materials. We're not even gonna like shop around hardcore into different little stores. Let's take Sophie and Toffee, for example. If I wanted to buy the same materials, I could buy two deco creams. I'm gonna put the prices right here so you can see the tally. And a grab bag of 20 charms instead of the five pretty sad ones that they supplied us. And I could pick up a notebook or an activity book from the dollar store. Because, I mean, let's, let's not kid ourselves. These activities are pretty standard. And if I wanted to grab flat stickers, I could also grab them from the dollar store. So if we look at the total here, it is way less than the money I spent on the actual kit from Scholastic. And there's wiggle space to make it even more customizable. Pink. Why pink? I feel like they were trying to make this girly and for someone like me who was a kid, I hated the color pink. Why not something that could be more enjoyable for everyone? Not just girls, but boys. Maybe a blue, a green, any of those mint colors could work. Yellows. They're boasting 31 stickers. Ooh, 31 stickers. But when you count the full stickers, it is about 17. I could have bought the same stickers for $1 and I had 50 of them. 50 full size, not the tiny little ones they were counting as part of the stickers. The other thing I didn't like about the stickers is that they said squishy stickers. I'm like, what's a squishy sticker? I know what puffy stickers are, but what's squishy? The second you open it, they're just normal stickers. They're not, they're not puffy. They're not squishy. They're just not flat. That's all. There's, there's no consistency to them. The cabochons that came with this are flat, uninteresting pieces. Could they not have chosen pieces that were lacking any more personality than these ones? They didn't even give us enough to do the whole booklet. If, if I had done it only with these materials, it would have looked really empty and just like a botched project. Not enough material for your own project. How is there not enough cream? It's like the lower DIY stuffing. They didn't give us enough stuffing to make the plushie. How are they not giving us enough cream to make the project? Let, let's just forget the 3D part that I like to make because that's how I deco. But just to finish the actual notebook, we were short on the right hand side of the booklet. We didn't have enough cream, so I had to get my own. Can you imagine someone who's actually decorating it and didn't have enough cream? How much bigger of a disappointment? They would have probably had to like pick from the other side and try and smush it. That is, mm, I, I was going to give it a decent score, but the more I talk about it, the more I'm getting frustrated. I have pretty big sausage fingers, so the fact that this bag of cream gave me cramps as I was actually piping it means that for smaller hands, it would be harder or they would need to take longer breaks. And they do mention not to wait too long because the cream can harden and then the pieces won't stick, so maybe make a bag that is hand friendly. Now, I did mention that the pieces were flat and uninteresting, which leeways into my next con, is that this piece would have looked generic and pretty boring had I not had my own. They do mention in the book to have your own pieces, which would be cool, but I expect from a kit to supply enough stuff so that I can make everything I need with this one project. Imagine getting this as a gift for someone and then finding out they have to actually pay more money to make it work. No scent. There's just no scent whatsoever. Could they not have made it strawberry scented or vanilla scented or something at least to make it more gimmicky or more fun? for kids. Along with the scent, I'm going to ask, why is there no drizzle? Could they not have had a little bit of a puffy paint to make it seem maybe like we could put chocolate drizzle, make it have a more dessert type theme? At least that's what I have a feeling they were trying to go for, a dessert type theme. What it was missing our dessert look or smell. So essentially, I wouldn't really get this kit for the DIY. I would probably just get it for the book, but then at $26, is it even worth it? I'm going to put this as a con again because that really grinds my grains. How are you a kit if you don't have everything you need to make that project? 
getting so, so salty right now. So, so salty. All right, on to the pros because there are some. The activities are pretty cute. I mean, I have to admit, I, I did have fun answering these little trivia or doing these little drawings. So yeah, they're cute. The instructions of how to pipe and how to make it is pretty simple and straightforward. That's what I've always liked about Scholastic. And the illustrations for the instructions are also clear. Although not very many and also dollar store-ish, the stickers are cute. I didn't add the sticker that broke into the cons, but keep that in mind. I don't know what's wrong with the quality there. They're cute, but one of them did break. After 24 hours, it is pretty smushy so it's not that hard. It wasn't like you could beat yourself or someone else with it. You just, it was pretty soft. It does have playability. I'm, I'm pretty upset because this, I, I really, really, really wanted to love this because I love deco. So what number five comes in as playability. It does have it. It just doesn't have all the materials to get there. So, so yeah, keep that in mind. So overall, remembering that it does have playability, but not all the materials we need to make it playable, and that you have to supplement it with your own stuff, I give this kit a 4 on 10 dorks. I really, I really wanted to love you. Why did you make this hard for me? It really is you, it's not me. For those of you saying I did it wrong, <laughs> thank you so much for watching Greens. If you want to see a crafty video, check it up here. And if you want to watch a salty video, not sure if you need more salt after today. Check it out down here. Until then, I will see you in the next video.